Good afternoon Floss Tube, it's Christina here with episode 6 and uh, thankfully this week has been um, less eventful shall we say. Um, I have actually gone out and tried a couple of cars but I didn't find one yet that I liked. Um, so the search for a new car, a replacement for Billy continues um, and I'm still waiting on the insurance company to uh, do what it does and churn out paperwork or whatever but um i'm sure that will all get sorted soon um so i'll just have to be patient i guess and in the meantime can't go anywhere but i wasn't really going very far anyway um so more stitching time silver linings i guess um so yeah it's the 5th of september and i thought i'd dig out a, a particularly unseasonable golden oldie for you um it's another one that's not framed or finished in any way and i really should um make some time and get my sewing machine out and make it into a bell pull um this one was done in 2003 and it was a mystery stitch along from pamela kellogov hello kitty kitty and me designs um and I liked the colours that were picked out for it, particularly the bright pink. Uh, I've actually had hair that colour, uh, talking of which hair is sadly in need of redoing. But again, Covid, so I'm not going anywhere. I don't have to. So I've got lockdown hair still, but I will deal with that at some point in the future. This one is stitched on a 28 count black Joblan because apparently I'm a masochist and I like making things incredibly hard for myself using... DMC and I believe it might even have been DMC metallic because that's how oh, I hate the stuff um, how um, much I wanted to punish myself and there is a lot all of the backstitch is in uh, metallic as well so just move it up in front of the camera so you can see quite how shiny this piece is and get the full effect of it so Yep, just waiting for me to get a sewing machine out and make it into a bell pull or hanging or something like that. So it's quite long. Yay. But again, stuck in my box of finishes and nothing's done with it. One day I'll show you some finally finished objects. Uh, and this week I worked on two, three five projects um, so let's start with the one I worked on last night why not and that's sublime stitches which is from Elizabeth Almond at Blackwork Journey and this is the one that's on a 28 count lavender lilac colored linen that I bought in Athens when I was uh, visiting there so I'm getting there across this is the whole width of the top so getting there with the top portion of it the top quarter. Um, let's do a, a close-up on the bits I actually managed to do because they're quite, quite cute. This one's quite the challenge because it's an awful lot of speciality stitches and uh, some of them I've never seen or heard anything like them before so I'm having to, to follow instructions quite closely. Some I've done before but struggled a bit with. Oops, sorry. So this week I finished this piece and the uh, it's DMC and then a DMC colorist thread in between and then I did this piece here which is a pulled work bit and that's done in DMC white pearl 12 and then I did the lazy daisy flowers oh, I've got a wonky petal down there I must fix that um, and that's in a colorist thread and I did I changed this stitch down here to something else because I didn't want to do the the linked chain stitch again because I hated that last time and this is a fly stitch here which I've almost finished the column up so I did that bit that bit that bit that bit and that bit this week so really pleased with progress and that one is now by area of the whole chart about 21% complete so yay getting there hopefully more progress that one is on my whip go board to get to 25, 25, 26% complete, something like that. So it will get there. Um, this year I'll definitely achieve that whip go goal. 
The next one is also on my Whipgo board. Uh, it was on there for August to get it to 10%. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't manage it. It's Stargazer Lily by the Silver Lining, which is on the 36 count fabric from Sew It All, even weave called Summer's Day. Um, but I did manage to do quite a lot. If not, it's only about 5% complete though. So, um, But this is the petal of the very top flower here, which I started the outline on. So some progress, yay. Definitely getting there. So I didn't meet the August whip go goal on that one. So that one's gonna keep popping up this month until I do get to at least 10% complete on it. Uh, this one is um, also on my whip go board uh, and it's been called for September. Uh, and in order to meet the goal on my whip go board, I have to do nearly 14,000 stitches on it. So I don't think I'm going to get it done in September, but I will try my best. This is Paris by Night, um, which is a full coverage which I'm doing. Uh, extreme cross country so colour by colour completion so I'm working on the most prevalent colour at the moment which is DMC 310 this is on a 20 count even weave from Vedigan and I'm using two strands full cross on it because I wanted the dense coverage and want the background colour to show through the very dark parts of this um, yeah made some progress on it most of the progress I made was sort of about here-ish so you probably won't notice the difference because it's not amazing, but it's all progress. And then, like I said, that one will keep popping up for the whole of September, probably. And uh, fourth, I worked on a design that a friend of mine put together from my Slandic motifs. And this one is on a 34 count natural linen by Vedigan. And it's in a DMC variation thread called Caribbean Sea. And uh, it's about 25% complete now. So almost completed the, the alphabet at the top. It's got a few extra letters because it's Icelandic. Uh, but yay, so I'll, I'll keep working on this one at some point. This one is not a Whipgo project because it was started this year. So probably won't come out again this month. Hopefully we'll make, see some progress in October and the rest of the year. And one more piece I worked on this year, and that's a, a Blackbird design stocking from the, the Halloween book. And the one I worked on is called Spooktacular Pumpkin. And if I just show you that one on this big piece of fabric that's got all of them on, you can see this is going to be a stocking here um, and that one I've managed to get to about 45% complete. This was one of my mania starts. Um, I started 21, well I'd worked on 21 different Halloween projects for mania, 19 of them were new starts and two were works in progress and I'm thinking that next year what I'm going to do is the blimey cat method and I'm going to work on each day in May. I'm going to work on the ones that I started on that day unless they've already been finished. And if they've already been finished, then I am going to start a new project next year. I'm thinking it might be Christmas ornaments, but we'll see. I might do more Halloween ones. Depends. I've already got some Christmas things stitched for my tree, but I don't have very much or any. I don't have any finished Halloween ones yet, but we'll see what we can uh, get done. And this one is uh, on... I think it's a 32 count linen in a natural colour and this is Carrie's Creations threads so that's raven and that is peach sadly you can't get Carrie's Creations threads anymore but I have quite a stash of them here um, so I'm going to keep using them and what else do I have uh, now that's all the stitching I did so I have some stash and one bit oh, you can't see because I'm sat on it it's not really stash but it is kind of stitching related so i bought myself a nice comfy cushion to sit in the chair for when i stitch so 
Um, hopefully that means I'll be able to sit longer because I don't have a very happy body and a very happy back. And I got one more piece of stash which I haven't actually opened. Let's not stash my dress to the entire world. So I'm going to open it here and try not to completely pack it up. And this is from Traditional Stitches in Canada and it was um, a limited edition Blackbird Designs chart. Aren't they all limited editions I think? But this one was uh, not going to be reprinted. I just dropped it because of course I would. And that is What Remains. So, and I bought this well, I planned to buy it once I found out about the death of Barb because I thought it was very sad. Um, and I bought it when I realised that the last batch was being printed and that that would be it. That would be my last chance to get it. So I'm really pleased to have got that. It was an exclusive to traditional stitches. So I had to get it from Canada. A little bit annoying, but that's as it is. Um, and it's arrived very safely. I shopped at traditional stitches before quite a few times because they do some beautiful things um, and I used to be part of a monthly club with them where they sent some very interesting products out um, charts fabric notions uh, for stitches that were slightly out of the ordinary so I really liked that um, there's a collectors club and yeah I did collect stuff quite a lot of it um, Ah, whatever. So my shop of the month is Traditional Stitches because fabulous service, great, beautifully packaged chart, arrived in a timely fashion from Canada, received email updates to my order as you'd expect from a shop these days. Um, so very pleased with that and if you're in Canada, lucky you because <laughs> you've got a great shop there. And uh, floss tube of the week will be Abby Bella Stitch who uh, is American. I believe she's Filipino origin. Um, and I know she's running the Stitch Asia hashtag Stitch Along. Hashtag Stitch Asia Stitch Along. Uh, which I have a project I'm working on in my whip box back there and will make an appearance when uh, it gets called on my uh, wheel that I spin to pick projects every month. Um, so all together August was a bit of a slow month didn't really do as much stitches as I normally do quite busy a little bit stressful so I stitched on 25 days um, says I did 10,092 stitches and I worked on 18 different projects so that's about half of my works in progress so not bad not bad at all whip go I didn't meet the goal to stitch 10% of Stargazer um, and whip go for September is Magical Night, Recipe for a Magical Night by Alessandra Adelaide, uh, which the goal of that one is to finish it, might manage that one because it's about 70% complete and the Paris by Night which you've already seen, uh, which I'm pretty sure I'm not going to make this month but I'm still three squares ahead because I've already completed three the squares before they've been called so plenty of time yet to, to aim for a complete board but we'll see how that goes yay uh, plans uh, currently I've got companions by Teresa Wentzler on my Q-snap don't know what I'll be stitching for the rest of the week it'll be up to the wheel of fate choice that I spin on my phone to see what I will do um, hopefully we'll have a new car keep you updated with the progress on that and uh, obviously show off when it when I have it here and um, hopefully we'll also have some more wildlife films for you might even be able to find one to stick on the end of here um, definitely got two different foxes visiting one is older a bit scraggier um, and appears to have a hind leg injury because it tends to favor its leg a little bit um, so it's a bit sad but I don't think there's very much we can do about it it definitely seems to be doing okay um, and I found out that foxes like peanuts in their shells 
So we leave out some peanuts for them and spread them on the grass and you can see him in a video scoffing up peanuts that he's found on the grass quite happily. There's also a younger one that visits and he's actually scared of the hedgehogs. So that's really really funny. So at some point I'm going to edit that video and include it where you can see him realising there's a hedgehog at the hedgehog food and he's really not sure what to make of it. So that's quite entertaining. Um, no, other than that it's just the lipstick of the week which is NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen. And I've actually been to Copenhagen but I'll tell you about that another time because I went and got some stitchy haul there. And I loved the um, the district I found that had lots of uh, vintage shops and I can't remember the name of now. But I had a great time shopping there. <laughs> so it's bye from me and I hope you have a good week and the sun continues to shine and you get lots of stitching in and I'll see you soon. Bye.